I took a stroll with Sarah through a Target store to see the extent of their Pride merchandise. What we found is that Target is very much in the business of promoting gender confusion and grooming children. Really now, are they? The verdict, avoid shopping at Target. Bright colors and purples available for little boys, and there might be black and blue available for little girls. Dear God, no! Needlessly gendered things! <laughs> So apparently the AP is telling everybody that Target is only selling tuck-friendly swimsuits for adults. And they're also apparently pulling some of their merchandise and sticking it in the back of the store in some of their Southern stores because of customer outrage. So I wanna see if all the fuss is warranted, where they've actually put the Pride stuff. Remember, it's not even Pride Month yet. So come on, we're gonna go inside. At least she's gonna go in and look around and like show us where things are and how much of it is actually true and how much of it is actually bullshit. Hey guys, apparently trans people will always exist. Oh, here we go. Yes. I mean, it's not like people haven't tried to genocide them before. So yeah, no, they're, they're gonna exist. Design for comfort and confidence, talk friendly construction with extra crotch coverage. Does this look like an adult swimsuit? No, it doesn't. Oh, I don't care what it looks like. What section are you in? I, I don't care what you think it looks like. Is that a full? Was that like a here down? Was that a bottom piece? She's holding that up and you can see the length that it is between her and what she's holding up. And so if she's trying to present this as like, oh, this is being sold to children, show us that you're in the children's section and that it is not like the very tail end of the children's section, which is like 12 year olds, which is like, you know, people that are going into puberty are already at puberty. Because the ladies section isn't only women who are 20 and upwards. The ladies section, if you're a teenager, a lot of the time you kind of exist in between these areas. Because they're not that specific. Because they can't be that specific. So, what's the size? Who does it look like it fits? Was that a one piece or a half piece? Was that like just bottoms? I don't know. What part of the store is she in? I don't know. <laughs> That's interesting. It's right next to a child mannequin. You too can paint your nails with a pride flag. Oh, okay. Lest you wonder what this is being designed for. Hold on, you gotta get the acronym. An LGBTQIA plus target design. It's got really, really little kid stuff over here. I, I, I what? What? Did she buy clothes that say cis people only? <laughs> this is so bizarre. This is so weird. Oh, here we go. We've got more stuff over here for- Wait, that was it? That was it? You're like, oh, here's for the really little kids and you looked at it for half of a second and then moved on? What does it say? Just... Can you guys read what that says? It says, just be you and feel the love. I reference that there are stores that have like edgy stuff and like those stores will have like sex jokes printed on baby shirts. Like that's, <laughs> that's not even uncommon. Just be you clearly is code for sacrificing yourself to be Elzebub. <laughs> you guys kill me. <laughs> God damn it. I've ever here for kids. Yes. This is. She's like, oh my god, they've got this for the children, and then it's just. That, that's all it is. It's just black with a, a multicolored stripe on it. You haven't even shown me, like, two daddies holding hands on a shirt yet. Like, where's the good shit? Your parents love you, child grooming. You should be yourself and your family should love you for who you are, child grooming. What? Really, really little kid stuff over here. Oh, here we go. 
We've got more stuff over here for kids. Yes. This is designed by an artist in the And then they just skip ahead because there was nothing there. <laughs> This video is so bad! Why would you even publish this? I, they're not telling me what part of the store they're in, so I'm having a little bit of trouble because I don't leave my house. In the United Kingdom, who actually identifies as a trans Satanist. Did you know that was a movement? Because I didn't. Dark and Satanic with these great... It's the planets and it says we belong everywhere. I didn't know trans Satanism was a thing either. Because it sounds like it's probably bullshit. I believe, uh, I am, believe it or not, not a Satanist, Carnell said on Instagram, responding to reports and social media posts that labeled him as Satan-loving. Wow, lady, it's almost like you're full of shit. The artist is not a Satanist, and you didn't know that, and it sounded ridiculous because it was bullshit that you just pulled out of your ass. Fuck this person. And Satanic? with these great pro-trans colors. Once again, grooming. You mean soft pink? What, can you tell me what is like acceptable colors and non-acceptable colors? Like, which color is gonna make your kid gay? And also Satanism, your favorite pride parade. This, her cutesy bullshit. Like, look at her fucking, look at her little, mm, what you know? Oh, did I say that? Get your Urkel ass out of here, you bitch. <laughs> so Satanism, your favorite pride parade gingerbread float. So many rainbows. Oh my god. Not rainbow colored candy like jube jubes and jelly beans and gummy worms and like every candy for kids forever hard to say i thought these were only for christmas celebrating the birth of christ but what do i know oof now that's just plain bad design multiple body type fit and gender expressions oh yeah my goodness imagine having a tag that says one size fits all in different wording <laughs> Which is just another way of saying completely shapeless. No! No, 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 it's not. You can be anything you want. You can be a potato or a cabbage. Where's that section? So now we have a subsection of a subsection, Be Proud, but it's specifically for Latinx communities who are not really gender normative. And for babies. What? Me about my pronouns. Well, look at me. What do you think my pronouns are? No, it's not even pride. Is that a question you want to ask? I know trans people that are better passing than you are. <sighs> bitch and asshole are this bitch's pronouns. At me. What do you think my pronouns are? Oh, it's not even Pride Month yet? Oh, well, I mean, if any doubting is transpiring, you want to break the mold, and your story matters. My story matters, too. Where's my section? No, 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 no. Your story matters, and you mattering, and, like, be who you want to be, have been things and phrases for children forever if you want your story to matter then wear the shirt that says your story matters it's not exclusive it's inclusive can you read what you got over here to decorate your dorm room this is exactly what we want we want iron-on patches for pride decorating your dorm room like for college like People in their 20s? Iron-on patches for gender queerness. Oh, we got more. We got more expressions. Hold on. Your lesbian iron-on patches. Wait, how many? Oh, and here we go. Bisexual. Oh. Why did she say it like that? 
<laughs> Why did she read all of them and then just say the bisexual one really special like? You're trans black. Once again, what? the ugliest design I've ever seen in my life. All day, every day, and that's okay. But not for me because that again is hideous. Not everybody agrees with your fashion sense. I would probably suspect that most people don't actually agree with your fashion sense. Not everything is this in the store is going to be designed for you and your boring ass outfit. <laughs> Do you know your chosen family is love? And apparently also includes aliens and people who get way too drunk at parties and put lampshades on their heads. Is, uh, is the one bald person an alien? Uh, I, I, what? None of these people are aliens. They're just people that have different fashion sets and wear different sets of clothes. For all this lady know, the, the person who's bald is somebody who's got cancer. Yeah, chosen families. It's it's the blood it's the blood is thicker than water idiom that misunderstands that the water of the womb and um, your relation with your family is not as valuable or not worth as much as the bond uh, formed through the blood of conflict. And people just misrepresent that idiom all of the fucking time. And no, you shouldn't cater yourself to people who don't like you. Not even are abusive to you. If you, your, your family members aren't always gonna like you, and that's fine. And you can decide how much you do and do not want to cater to hanging around those people. And that's gonna be a, a very personal decision. That is entirely up to you about what you decide you do and do not want to do. But, um, you, you don't have to put up with people who don't like you. Or people you don't like, for that matter. Whatever your reasoning may or may not be. Your church that you go to is a chosen family. You're choosing to build relationships through that church family. That is a chosen family. It's a little more heteronormative, although it's hard to say at this point because it's all bleeding into other sections. It's not bleeding into other sections. It's just what is considered normative is arbitrary in the first place. They're just general guidelines. They're not meant to be taken as serious literalisms. Men can wear shapely pants. Please wear more shapely pants. Thank you. I would greatly appreciate it. Just for me. Just, just, just as a favor? Maybe? This is somebody who actually does not understand fashion, body shapes, I guess, at all. Pride sucks. Pride is power, guys. And so, so are apparently are warm feet. I would like to talk to the design team. Please stop trying to be funny. You're not funny. This, you're, you're trying to crack jokes and like she thinks she's making a joke. It's like listening to Steven Crowder. It's not funny, you're just being a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Rez out here with the analysis. I think this woman is just mad that she never felt important in her life and she hates that other people who felt the same are now getting acknowledgement they deserve. Her bitterness and willful ignorance are staggeringly obvious and sad. Being so shocked by normal shit and like is exuding like, oh, well, this doesn't make sense. But your this doesn't make sense is you just being an idiot. Like you're just coming across as dumb. What, like how do you go up to a shirt for a baby that says, be yourself and feel the love and be mad? <laughs> talking about it's a black bathing suit ah <laughs> and she even admits right here in this video that she can't tell the difference she doesn't even know what is normative because she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about
Because again, just because it's rainbow doesn't mean it's attractive. I would never shop in this section, even if I was queer, because it's ugly, not a phase. Lest we... Lady, you're at a Target. <laughs> what were you expecting? believe that kids will grow out of their gender confusion. Target's here to tell you that they're going to groom you into really being convinced. It's not a phase, mom. Clearly this lady just slept through the punk rock phase and like just, yeah, people accuse, like adults accuse kids growing up that things are a phase all of the time. It's that, it's a meme. It's a shirt with a meme on it. Forever. Once again, do you work at a truck stop? But I want you to see this is the opening salvo of the store. It is right here at the front. There's the exit. There's the Starbucks. Conveniently, we know where Starbucks stands. But we haven't even started Pride Month. We just came out of the store. First of all, you're assaulted visually by what they're selling right in the front. It is the first display. Yeah, what the fuck do you think happens at Christmas? And then everybody gets mad that it's like, yo, it's it's not even November yet. And there's like Halloween just like barely got, it's Thanksgiving and I've got a Christmas display in front of my face. Yeah, that's how holidays work, lady. What are you, new? Do you know nothing about marketing? It, it's like that with everything. It's like that when the seasons of clothes flip out. And the thing that she's mad about with like Pride Month is colors. She's mad that the store has colors. Is it, does it count as grooming if you sell, like, camo pants to kids? You know, prepping kids to be in the military and, like, would that count as grooming? I'm just, um, all I'm asking for is a little bit of consistency. And I, like, we know that the military does go out of its way to target, like, teenagers. And, like, people coming out of high school. So. I, I'm just looking for some consistency. That's all. And the military is using the government's budget to do that. That's taxpayer money. Taxpayer money is being used to, to, to sell and do that kind of shit. At least with Pride Month stuff, it's not government funded. Anyway. ...visually by what they're selling right in the front. It is the first display that you see when you go in. First of all, the clothing's horrifically ugly. Does she have, like, Botox in her face that's making her face look like that? Like, as somebody who's, like, doesn't want other people to get surgeries for aesthetic purposes and wants people to, a and wants people to answer what they think her pronouns are. Whoopsie! Ugly, ugly. Second of all, Target's lie if they're telling you that they're actually only selling tuck-friendly swimsuit for adults and not for kids, because we definitely saw tuck-friendly swimsuits for kids. Didn't distinctively in this video show us the sizing nor what section it was in. Third of all, there are items in there designed specifically for children, many of them actually, that go specifically to our concerns about grooming young people into a lifestyle when they don't even have a notion either of their sex or gender because they're too young or will ultimately grow out of it when they get older. Hey, what's your, uh, what's your profession that gives you any kind of understanding of, of child psychology about when children tend to recognize that they have bits and pieces and they start exploring those bits and pieces. And uh, here's the thing. Kids get gender conditioning immediately. Immediately. And have been getting gender um, shit thrown at them for decades. Particularly when you paint the baby's room and you choose things that the baby are gonna like and you inadvertently just gender things for no fucking reason. Like, you know, colors and specific toys and the colors of those specific toys and whether or not they have action figures and whether or not they have Barbies, and whether or not there's actually a difference between an action figure and a Barbie, because there fucking isn't. They're both bendable. They do the same fucking thing. They're the same. They're the same. Do you like dinosaurs? You must be a boy.
So no, you don't get to pretend that kids don't get gender shit thrown at them 24-7. Loosening up and not having a stick up your ass about what your kid has fun playing with and has fun wearing and has fun doing whatever they're doing. Pink and blue swapped. Pink dresses used to be like your this lady's grandfather was probably wearing a pink dress in his baby photos. The thing is, is again, these these are arbitrary and loose guidelines that are not indicative of anything. Any kid, especially not their sexuality. Maybe, maybe, maybe creepy people like this should stop imposing sexuality on the interests of children. Maybe a kid can just be interested in whatever that kid is interested in and they should be allowed to do so without any fucking weird people imposing sexuality onto their their interest that is entirely unrelated to their gender and their sexuality you fucking weirdo why are you so interested in what children find sexually appealing you fucking weirdo this lady's a creep Who's the groomer here? The person trying to conform children to their specific ideal of what they want every child to be because that's what they find attractive? Or people who are like, listen, kid, be yourself. We're gonna love you no matter who you are because we're your parents and we care about you. In fact, studies say 70 to 90 percent of them will. That Which studies where citation? Thank you. Citation. Give me. Give me your citation, please. Thank you. Okay, bye. Because I'm just going to disregard that. Those statistics mean absolutely nothing until you can tell me where those statistics came from and what the question was that those statistics were asking and where the question was even asked. Because statistics are easily manipulated. That hasn't bothered Target. Target's more interested in catering to their woke agenda Target's than they are actually... Target's interested in making money. Really ...meeting the needs of the average consumer. So my suggestion, avoid shopping at Target. I mean, if I was her, I would avoid shopping at Target since she seems to hate all their products anyway. Well, whatever. Sorry, my phone just binged. And I just don't think this lady takes priority in my life. 